Now, it is World Immunization Week. It is celebrated annually in the last week to encourage and promote the use of vaccines to protect communities from diseases. Millions of lives are saved around the world by vaccination each year. The ultimate goal of World Immunization Week is to protect more people from vaccine-preventable diseases. So that's the crux of our next discussion now. Joining me via Zoom is the former PRO, Association of Public Health Physicians of Nigeria, Lagos Chapter, Dr. Tony Adeyemi. It's not Tony Adeyemi. It's nice to have you uh, join me, Dr. Adeyemi. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right. Now, uh, when it comes to Nigeria is not new to immunization. Uh, immunization has been with us for a long time. And in fact, because we... It is, it is said that Nigeria had close to perfected uh, the rollout immunization from, uh, you know, child killer diseases to polio and all of that. When uh, COVID came, it became easy because they, it seemed like there was a template already in that regard. But talk to us some of the realities of uh, immunization and the challenges that we face in Nigeria, especially from the knowledge of the average Nigerian to the need to immunize against uh, certain diseases? Um, can, you, can you help me? Can you hear me? Go ahead. Um, unfortunately, I didn't hear the question. Somehow it All right. wasn't clear. Uh, I, I, okay, let me simplify it. Uh, today, we'll be, we're talking about uh, immunization. Now, if we take Nigeria... Uh, on a on a platter. So, what are some of the realities of immunization that we face today, from the perspective of the challenges and uh, getting people to immunize against various diseases? All right, thank you for that question. So, yes, we're celebrating the World Immunization Week um, last week in April, and Nigeria has actually been faced with quite a lot of challenges. And it's even heightened, it got worse after the COVID pandemic when we started recording vaccine hesitancy. So this has affected routine immunization among even our children, um, children below zero to five that take immunizations to protect them against vaccine preventable diseases. But then the theme for this year is long life for all. And that theme, we're trying to... Um, uh, we're trying to use a life course approach to immunizations to emphasize that immunization is not for everybody. It's, it goes across all ages. So there have been a lot of challenges. The challenges, you can look at it from the demand side and also from the supply side. From the demand side, which is um, the people that are supposed to come for the vaccination, there is fear. Some of them are fear and side effects. Some of them do not even have access. Access is the number one major problem. They don't have access to some of these vaccines. From the supply side as well, we also have issues with, well, going back to the demand side, some people are just not aware. So there's lack of awareness, lack of education on vaccines that are supposed to be taken at every point in time. So we need to do a lot of health education. We need especially hard to reach areas, areas where these vaccines do not get too easily, areas where there are no healthcare facilities. But um, some of the approaches and things that have actually been done to combat this is, apart from the health facilities, mobile outreaches are conducted whereby healthcare providers go into the community, look for children, that have missed out on their vaccinations and actually go ahead to vaccinate them. Mm. All right. On a week like this, uh, what, how can how best can this week be commemorated and celebrated? Okay, so for on a week like this, you know, I mentioned that health education is a bit poor. So we want to create more awareness. And we're not only targeting um, the people that are supposed to come for this vaccination. We're also targeting even policymakers. Let us have um, policies in place whereby we can have um, integrated services because we have a lot of missed opportunities. So some children or even adults that require vaccinations approach a health facility, but they are unable to get vaccinated at that point in time. So we want policies that would ensure that our services are integrated. Whatever day you have encounter with a health facility, as soon as a healthcare provider finds out that you've missed a vaccination, which you're supposed to take, they can actually give you there and then, as opposed to giving you an appointment to come back later, because that would just create missed opportunities and will continue to have 
no immunization coverage. So this week, we want to create awareness. We want to let people know that vaccination is a life cost approach. It's not only for children, although we, um, we have a government schedule, which is the ex expanded program on immunization that is targeted at children. But then adults too should get vaccinated. There are vaccines for adults. There are vaccines that are even given during outbreaks. And another thing we want to um, use this week to do is to emphasize the need of catch-up campaigns. We know that COVID actually took a toll on our vaccination rates and our immunization coverage. A lot of children have missed their vaccinations. We want to use this week to sensitize parents, caregivers, to check their schedules, to know, to come to the health facility so that any missed vaccination can actually be given so that these children catch up on their vaccinations. All right. Thank you very much, Tony Adeyemi, for uh, the insight in there. And we wish you well uh, in, in commemorating the week ahead. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for having me. Great.